everybody, my buddy Johnny Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls over Hi. here. Great band, and we've sold you guys some terrific equipment over the years. I right? actually have a really beautiful collection of guitars, and you set me right up with them. It's like, it's such a joy to play all that stuff. Well, this one, I personally guarantee you're going to get so many miles off this. This is a 1961 first year Hummingbird. And this guitar is completely out of control. My favorite neck, the thin, flat, wide neck at the nut. I do love um, Beautiful cherry sunburst. Incredible condition. Uh, you know, one of the favorites that the Stones use when they play acoustics. And there's a reason. Just a great guitar. This is the best sounding hummingbird I've ever heard in my life. Well, it's right up there. One really speaks. It's a it's an exceptional guitar. That's why I kind of have to point to this. This is not even out on the floor yet, so so you know. I'm gonna take it before anybody else gets a chance. So mm -hmm. what you're doing, you guys have got new records and stuff like you're working yeah. on a new one right now. Well, we did. We made a. We spent last year. We made a Christmas album, which was really a lot of fun, out of character for us, but a uh, lot of fun. And um, and now we're going back into the studio. Um, place up in around Woodstock called uh, Dreamland, and uh, nice. we just locked the place out for like four months. And, uh, cool. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna well, write. They got a heater in there, but yeah, they got a heater, that, you know. and uh, it's in an old church, so it's, nice. it's really cool vibes. We're just really looking forward to really truly getting back out on the road. And I was just talking to Dave about that. Yep. You well, know. it's all these bands. You know, we got our buddy Dave Amato in from Mario, mm -hmm. and he's been kind of, you know. The band's been on hiatus right now. Uh, that's Dave, Dave Amato. Amato. Look, everybody. Dave spends money even he, when he doesn't make money. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my best victims. Johnny's a great victim. Yeah, uh, I'm getting up so, there. That's right. So, uh, Johnny, there's going to be a lot of tunes in this guitar. I promise you. Yes. Um, you that's know, gorgeous. You're going to love it. That's this is the thing we were talking about, was that every song has a guitar, or every guitar has at least one good song in it. And if you're inspired, I, awesome. and I think is, there's going to be more. But this is the thing about playing an instrument like that. It's kind of like it's inspirational. It like it speeds the process up. It doesn't slow yeah. it down. You know. Well, you play a couple chords and you hear it, and then there's something just kind of they kind of fall from the it sky a little bit. It's connects. This one was instantaneous, though. You know? Well, I'm really happy that you're getting that, and I really believe that you're going to love that guitar. Oh, that, so. I already love it. No, and that's the first year. First year, yes, yep. uh, come on. And it's got the neck, you felt the neck. It's, it's like yeah. the uh, Les Paul gorgeous. neck or that's, the SG Les Paul neck. It's the wide oh, flat, awesome, you know, yeah. just yeah. stunning. Gold single ring tuners. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, look those at the shoes and that. Those are beautiful. You're being so old. Yeah. I know. Well, it's the, never even had a strap back. button on that, you know, so. Wow. Never had a strap button over oh, here. Oh, no. So, yeah. um, wow. you know, it's just one of those guitars that. Uh, and John, I would just say this would be a great guitar to record with. Yeah. But I'm not sure I would take it any place where the weather might be no, too extreme because no, 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 this no, no. thing is too nice. Yeah. Well, none of the none of the stuff you sell me goes out on the road with me. It all stays home, and it's and it's just all studio stuff. Cool. So it's, John, I'll keep it here for you. <laughs> Dave is volunteer. I'm not torn until next year. So <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and he's all heart, that Dave Amato. That's all I can say. He's a good guy. I'm, just, I'm trying to be a friend. <laughs> Thank you. He's been my friend for years. Too. <laughs> he's encouraged Richie Sambora. How many guitars have you encouraged Richie to buy for me? I don't, I don't, he brought Ted Nugent in, he brought Aerosmith in, he brought so many bands he introduced to my store. What is I'm wrong really grateful you? today for, uh, you know, turning so many people on to us. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't think Dave's, they, nobody's love, complained or given you a hard time. No, no we love the store. No, no. Yeah. This place is an institution. No. So. It is an institution. <laughs> institution. <laughs> no, it really is. And it's like, it's, it's like, this is one of those places it's such such a rare thing now to come to a place like this and be able to play ten of these great guitars and, right. and well, I kind of know what you, know, you like by now. So yeah. I kind of said, John, I, I, you know, he started looking at some Gibson acoustics. I said, John, I think I got something for you. Yeah. And I, it took him about four seconds. Yeah, I just went. Oh yeah, there. I have the put one. my thumb on the case. This is mine. He's yeah, got the fingerprint on the case. That's awesome. Nothing better than that. Yeah. You know I mean, me. I think, you know. 
Is that how are you like when you're buying a guitar? Do you have to spend a lot of time with it, or do you or do you know? I I, I don't spend much time with it. I, I don't. Yeah. Nor, nor, he knows what you know he's looking me. for. Yeah. Know. I mean, I mean, I, I play. You know, I feel the neck yeah, and everything like that. But I just, I don't know. I just, it's a, it's a thing. with Norm knows me, and and I might come in the room and goes, "Come on, I got to show you something." Yeah. And, and just he knows what I like. Wow. You yeah. Know. He knows what everybody likes, really. Well, you know, I I kind of get a feeling of and and also just from past experience, kind of what they ask for and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, again, how many tunes have you played and written and sang with and all that, you know, with all your guitars and all that? They just did a big thing on, you know, Gibson just did a big thing uh, on your collection recently. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. On, on uh, the... Uh, yeah. Gibson TV, TV with Mark. Right, right. You know, so, uh, again, it's always great to see. It's like old home week here. I just wish that, you know, once this COVID thing is over, you know, all my buddies can come hang and it's like, it's the place where, you know, it's the barber shop. Right? It's the, yeah. so I was just gonna call it the barber shop. Like every, yeah. we used to on Saturdays, we used to all everybody came in, bought a masa, everybody just you know hung out and, and uh, played guitars. It's, wow. it's so much fun. It's a great thing. Yeah. Well, thing. could be worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, and thank you guys for all you do for the store for the Midnight Mission. These guys just signed a couple of guitars for the Midnight Mission to give to the homeless, try to raise some money. Uh, it's amazing what, you know, besides being rock stars, these guys are really good, regular guys. And they appreciate that anybody could be homeless, especially a lot of musicians, right? So, well, especially yeah. musicians. Especially musicians. If things didn't work out yeah, quite the sure. right way. So that's why we try to give back to the Midnight Mission and the homeless. And uh, these guys really step up and, you know, I'm grateful to these guys. So the great Johnny Resnick, great Dave Amato. And Thanks, Norm. Uh, and then Thank me. You, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Norm over here. And uh, we are doing something again for the Midnight Mission. Uh, we're giving this guitar away. My buddy Neil Giraldo from Pat Benatar signed it. And I've got Johnny Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls. We've got Dave Amato from Mario. And uh, these guys are going to sign it. Hopefully, we can raise some money for the homeless. Here. Johnny? No, no, please. First. You first. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, Johnny, thank you, buddy. Up here. And I have one more that the same, uh, another one that's almost sure. exactly the same. Hey. <laughs> so, and here we go. This is for the second one again. This is uh, Dave Amato from Ario Speedwagon. Johnny Resnick, so ah. you can see. Uh, Johnny, thank you guys. Hi, it's you, Johnny. Yeah, two days. These guys are very much into uh, helping the mission, so. You want to sign it there, Dave? Sure. No, that's an autograph. Jo <laughs> that's an autograph. Come on, Johnny. You're Me, good. I sign oh, like get out of here. I sign like a four-year-old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you must have went to my school then. <laughs> It's so, a great thing you're doing. Thank you, yeah, man. Yes. We try. You know, I it's like it's dear to me. Empty your wallets. <laughs> and she Everybody works for the mission right there. Come on. So. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go empty my wallet. All right.